Hello and welcome to Evaluate This. In this video, we're going to be having a look at building an Active Directory domain controller using Windows Server 2012. And we're going to be doing that on top of the Windows Azure platform because it's a really simple way to start evaluating Windows Server 2012. Here you can see my Windows Server 2012 remote desktop session. And I've just opened up Server Manager to the dashboard. I'm going to go and select the uh, link on that you can see on the desktop there to add roles and features. This is how we add in new roles and features to Windows Server 2012. I'll just skip this page and then I want to do a role or feature based installation. And the reason for that is that I've, the other option there would allow me to do something very specific for remote desktop services. I then want to select the server and then select that I want to install Active Directory domain services. I'm going to hit add features. I don't need to change any of the roles or any of the other features that are on that server as well. Then we can say that we're going to install ADDS. All of the configuration of Active Directory domain services is done outside of this installation wizard. I'll say that we need to restart automatically if required. In this case, that actually won't happen until we've completely configured the domain controller. The installation will start and this will add the binaries into Windows Server 2012, into this installation. You'll notice that we've speeded this up a little bit. This will normally typically take a couple of minutes to do on a Windows Server 2012 installation, even if you're running in Windows Azure. There we can see that the process has finished. I could at this point have previously tapped the close button and that would have closed the wizard down. I don't need to sit and watch the wizard all the way through. Notice also that we have a promote this server to domain controller link inside of that wizard. That is our next step, doing that promotion. However, I'm gonna click close at this point and go and do that from within uh, the server manager main window just to show you one of the other places that you get notified that there is a next set of steps to do. Up here, top right hand corner, we have the post deployment configuration task there with a warning symbol to tell us that it needs to be done. Inside of this deployment configuration for Active Directory Domain Services, we're gonna select to use a new forest. That's exactly what you would do if you were building your own test environment. We're gonna provide a root domain name. We're gonna use Fabricam Cloud here because we're actually building this on Windows Azure. Using the cloud name is kind of handy for our purposes. Next, we need to select the functional forest level and the domain functional forest level. We're gonna say that we want to use Windows Server 2012. We also want to say that our domain controller is going to use DNS. That will, as you'll have seen, install the DNS feature for us automatically. We're gonna get this warning saying that uh, there can't be a delegated zone created. That's because we're not connecting this domain up to the public internet, that's not a problem for us. We're going to accept that default installation location and we're also going to select that default net BIOS name. In a production server we probably want to move those database log folders and sysvol folders onto a different volume. Now finally we need, just need to review what happens here. Notice that we could click the view script button to create a PowerShell script to help us do further Active Directory installations. We get a few little warnings here. Basically, in this side of this configuration, the main, most important warning that we're seeing there is that we don't have a fixed IP address assigned to this server. That is because in the Windows Azure environment, we actually end up in this kind of uh, DHCP leased environment, whereby we've actually statically assigned that lease to our endpoint here, our Active Directory domain controller server. That would be exactly the same as if you owned your own DHCP, but normally the best practice is to set standard static, DO, uh, static IP addresses onto your uh, domain controllers. Here you'll see this is telling us we're about to be signed off. That is because um, there's an automatic reboot going on as part of this Active Directory installation process. So we'll get disconnected. There we go, we'll see the restarting message. We will disconnect. And then in a couple of minutes, once that machine is restarted inside of Windows Azure, we'll be able to go back into the Azure portal, select our virtual machine, hit connect, and start to remote desktop back into our environment. And then we can just make sure that our Active Directory has actually been configured. Now I'm gonna sign on with my uh, domain admin credentials. Previously I would have signed in here with my local admin credentials for that particular server that we've now just promoted to be our first domain controller inside of our first forest. I'm going to click OK, having entered those details. And that's me connected back into my domain controller. A few things happened there. We just speeded up the video very, very quickly, just in order to get us through 
those last couple of clicks. And now we're inside of our server. We have our Active Directory domain services installed. If you have a look at this server manager window on the left hand side, when it's completely finished checking out what's on the server, we'll see that we have both an ADDS option and also a DNS option over there. We'll go and tap ADDS and that'll allow us to start to just see the, um, the events and the health that is associated with our Active Directory. Thank you very much for watching Evaluate This. I've been Simon Ray. Please go along to windowsazure.com in order to try Windows Azure for free.